In a desperate attempt to keep an entire generation of threatened species from vanishing, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has started collecting about 70,000 turtle eggs in up to 800 nests buried in the sand across Florida Panhandle and Alabama beaches. It's never been done on such a massive scale, but doing nothing, experts say, could lead to unprecedented deaths. But we're trying to save a whole generation of sea turtles along the North Gulf Coast, and it's something that's never been tried at all, not at this scale, not at this point in the incubation period. So it's really an unprecedented effort at a uh, historic moment when we're seeing an ecosystem under unbelievable stress, and we're taking steps, dramatic steps, uh, somewhat risky. The fear is that the turtles would be coated in oil and poisoned by crude soaked food as they hatch and swim out to sea. Friday, workers evacuated turtle nests by hand, digging slow and delicately. What's our count? 18. 18. Aside from making sure the shells don't crack, the eggs can't be rolled around or repositioned to protect the embryo inside. The eggs are carefully placed in specially designed styrofoam containers. The plan is to store about 70,000 eggs at the Kennedy Space Center in a warehouse that may look something like this facility in Louisiana. Now, what we did today is we took 107 sea turtle eggs that are just about a week or 10 days from hatching. We took them from their spot in the sand. They were dug out. They were carefully put in uh, specially designed containers. The eggs will remain in the facilities until hatchlings emerge and then they'll be placed one by one on Florida's east coast where the turtles can swim oil-free into the Atlantic Ocean. Haven Daily, The Associated Press.